stalkers out to get you And I digress Cause I must make you the perfect moment I try my best To scoop the slugger out the wind I tried to start filming this video so many times this week, but let's just make it happen today. This morning, very early, before it even got light out, I had an appointment with the orthodontist again because I'm gonna get jaw surgery like somewhere next year. I think I told you guys before, but now I have to make a decision what braces I want to get. So the surgeon said you have to get the brackets which I really don't like, but I was like, okay, it's fine. I can get the ceramic ones, the white ones, but apparently those are so much more expensive. And for less money, I can do the Invisalign thingies, which I much rather prefer than having the brackets. But then the surgeon said that it doesn't like to work with those. So I don't know what to do, but we'll see. In other news, exams are coming up and I am so smart. I planned a trip to Copenhagen for next week, uh, like right before the exams. But I think it's gonna be fine if I get enough stuff done beforehand. I was thinking I don't wanna bring my laptop to Copenhagen because I can only take a small bag. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna have so much time at the airport. Hmm. I'll just figure it out when I'm packing. Could also print out some stuff. So anyways, today I gotta work hard and I'm having a little coffee date. I got this nasty pimple like right by my lip. And it's so annoying because it's just the worst place to get it. Good news is ever since I stopped taking the hormones, I haven't broken out like crazy. And I'll say the first few days were a bit of an emotional roller coaster, but I'm not really that affected. By the way, it's so foggy out and yesterday was even crazier. When I was on the ferry, it looked like I was lost like far at sea. Guys, the best lip balm is just the most natural thing you can find. I'm using this calendula, I don't know, cream. It was from the cluster shop where my cousin lives. Also, I cut my nails short because they were, I think it's the cold weather. They all just broke. Okay, let's get. I recently started using this and I think it actually works, so that's why I'm showing you. It's just a pre-blowout cream and it's activated while it's heating up from your blow dryer. I've just been studying for the past hours and I have a couple little small things to do before I leave to go into the city. One of them is yesterday I got new trainers because I really wanted a shoe that I can wear when I want to walk a lot and also look stylish and something that goes with everything. So basically my all day city hiking shoes. Also crucial for my Copenhagen trip, but I just have to prep them for the winter. I think it's gonna be so cool. I'm always so scared I'll stain them, but we gotta do it. I mean, what else can I do? Okay, next I got a stain in my hoodie. And I think it's mayonnaise because yesterday I was eating a burger with my hoodie on and I think the mayonnaise kind of touched the side of my hoodie. <sighs> I hate myself. But this is some random detergent that we have. Okay, I'm no professional, but I'm just gonna let it sit for a bit and then rinse it out before I leave. As I've shown you guys before, my mom made me this beautiful advent calendar. I'm on my knees in fascination Looking through the night And the moon's never seen me before And this morning I received these glitter stars that I can decorate my room with. So I'm thinking just putting it up on my bed frame. So weird, there's a leaf inside of the packaging. How long is it? Oh, it's just four. Oh! 
Oh, they're individual stars. Okay. So I put three of them up here and then one of them in my Christmas tree because it has no other ornaments yet. Okay, I think it looks so cute. Also, do you like the way I've put up a few pictures? Because I go back and forth with putting up things on the wall. They're so empty and white, but it's just because pictures start to annoy me after a certain time. But yeah, once in a while, doesn't hurt. I'm really hoping tomorrow we're gonna go out and get a real big Christmas tree for the living room because it's getting late. It's the 8th of December, but yeah, my parents are very much like, no, first we have Sinterklaas and then we do Christmas. Should I wear this? It's literally my mom's coat and beret. The thing is with anything and especially with fashion choices, when I stare at it for too long, I inevitably start to hate it. I think I'm gonna wear this beanie. It's not even that cold, but for a little bit of color. So I'm just gonna wear a scarf. Everything looks so cute at Christmas Eve. really such a nice day i felt like it flew by because i was pretty productive and it was and it was also a really fun day i had a lovely time with my friend in the city and everything is just magical this time of year i got home and my parents also got home pretty late so we decided to order sushi and then we also had to wait like i think we waited an hour for the sushi so for dutch standards we had dinner pretty late but it was worth it because the sushi was so good except they pack it so unsustainably like so much plastic so i kind of feel like we shouldn't do that anymore but at the same time supporting the local businesses i guess i'm so awfully tired and i'm gonna try to wake up at 6 a.m again tomorrow just to slowly get back into that routine the vlog felt so rushed but i hope i really hope you still enjoyed it it's just because everything everything is rushed right now i cannot wait until i have more time to really to really take the time to make beautiful videos again which will be soon i truly hope you're having the most wonderful december I'm sure it's gonna be a good month and we're just gonna go through it together. And I hope you have the sweetest dreams and I'll see you very soon. Mwah.